Hello race fans and welcome to the Motor Speedway of the South where the Dynaco 400 will be held here today. I'm Bob Tucker and he's Daryl Parker and today will surely be a great one. So you're sure about that one Bob. These racers are very skilled and have been racing since 1975 to up to the present day of 2005. As we go by, you can see the racers getting ready right now. Kitties are working hard to ensure their racers won't crash. But it's only futile knowing that a certain racer, number 86, is present on the track today. You're right about that one, Bob. Number 86 has caused so many crashes that we don't even know how he's still welcome into the racing league. But let's look at the races we look out for today. First up, we have Trip to King Weathers, a 1979 Cornell Superbird with the top speed of 200 miles per hour. Shake Hicks, top speed of 201 miles per hour. Name the bad boy. Lightning McQueen, a custom built Piston Cup racer. And next up, Winford Bradford Rutherford, a Capital Motors Zerg XT. And we're getting the heads up that the cars are now ready to start the pace lap. As they're doing that, let's get down to today's races. Row 1, we have number 58, Billy Oil Changer, and number 8, Dale Earnhardt Jr. O2 comes along with Brian Shields and Davey Atpat. In row 3, probably the two most favored cars of today's race, Trip the King Weathers and Lightning McQueen. And coming up in row 4, Chuck Armstrong and Dirk Diagostino. Row 5, Greg Candyman and James Cleaner. Row 6, we have Winford Rutherford and Chick Hicks. The two of the racers to look out for is high skill. With a row seven, Ink and Excellent, and Darren Redfoot, Nitrate and Shiny Light. Row eight, Manny Flywheel, and Kevin Shipwright. And with the last row, row number nine, Todd Marcus and Ruby Easy Oaks. And here's the race info, a 10 lap race, a .533 mile speedway, 18 racers are present today, and a lot of fan favorites are starting close to each other, and it looks like they're heading to the grid right now. Two, one, go! And we are off, Billy Oil Changer to Dale's Insight, Ryan Shields doing the same, and this is expected for races like this starting off. Ooh, Winford slides up a little, but Strip the King Weathers, Light McQueen is going to try to lead us into the next lap. Oh boy, coming down the back stretch, these cars are all flying by, it looks like Chick Hicks is moving through the field to catch up to the three racers in the lead right now. Ooh, Chick bumps into McQueen. And it looks like, oh, Chick slams Billy Oil Changer. Dale goes over. Oh, my goodness. This is really bad. This is really bad. James Cleaner crashes into the pit lane border wall. And this is simply just horrible, Bob, today. Let's look. Oh, man. So many cars are involved. Dale and her junior and Billy Oil Changer have been taken out early, even though they were the front runners, along with Chuck Armstrong, Dirks, and Diagostino. This is all so bad. And James Cleaner was so close to getting out of here, but he ran into the pit lane wall right now let's look at the instant replay chick slams billy and billy flips dale gets collected dirksen apex goes through there and then chuck went through there and then uh Ch james tire must be blown out a little and cars retreated into pit lane if they couldn't make it and the caution has been put out right now racers stopped in both areas pit lane and the front stretch but in some good news, the cleanup crew has finally arrived, thank goodness. And in some uh, unfortunate news, the number 8 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. is being taken out. I know many of you were rooting for him, but in some other good news, the cars are now ready to pit. Fast pit stops by those teams, and it looks like we have a radio conversation between Team 95. Doc, I'm not going into the pits. We are having a good lead as we speak. 10-4, kiddo. Remember, stay close to the inside and stay away from Chick. They look like they know what they're doing with that good strategy, but let's go to commercial. Yes, yes, yes. 
Lightning McQueen here, and I use Rusty's medicated bump ointment, new rear end formula. Nothing sues a rusty bumper like Rusty's. Wow, look at that shine. Use Rusty's, and you too can look like me. Cut chow! And here we are with the updated race info. We are restarting on lap 6. Only 13 cars remain and the back wall was damaged due to the crash that happened earlier today. And it looks like the cars are now getting ready to start off. And we're off! Queen starting off with a very early lead. The cars are now going really fast down the front street. McQueen is building his lead, but Shrip the King Weathers and Chick Hicks are fast on their way, going into the first turn and now heading down the back stretch. The King is now on McQueen's tail, but McQueen is refusing to give it up as they're side by side. McQueen is not giving up that lead. Shrip the King Weathers and McQueen are really going at it. Maybe they are racetrack rivals, but it looks like Light McQueen is going to pit from my ping earlier. And his team's going to have to work fast because we're on lap 9 out of 10. McQueen's out there and he's going to start off mid-pack, but he's not too far away and he's able to get into third. Three-way battle, old style. As we're on the final lap, the King is in the lead. McQueen to his inside. Chick blocks off McQueen and it's three-way. And Chick hits the King and causes the big one up front. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just horrible all these cars crashed today but one came out victorious look at this this is so horrible the racetrack has nearly been damaged up front the king on his head McQueen with his tongue out tires popped chick is just utterly destroyed under there and so many cars the other cars behind them had to stop and pray they did not get hit at all this is really horrible and in so many cars is today this, this is just bad. It's so bad. Let's look at the instant replay. As we see, Chick hits the king in a few seconds. He hits the king, spins him out, runs into McQueen, and crashes through. Only cars going through. But one came out victorious, and it's the number 51 of Ruby Easy Oaks. This is just utterly insane. I wonder, how did he do that? It's he tried the wall maneuver or something utterly profound, but we have the winner, Ruby Easy Oak, celebrating his win with his team, with everyone concerned about everyone's race. We even have our own Shannon Spokes down there with race winner Ruby Easy Oak to have an interview with him. Shannon, go. Thanks, Daryl. Shannon Spokes here with race winner Ruby Easy Oak. How do you feel on today's race, Mr. Oaks? To be honest with you, Shannon, I had no idea that I would be winning today. I started off in dead last. Can you believe it? Yes, I can, Mr. Oaks, because I just witnessed it. Would there be anything you would change about today? Of course, Shannon. I regret that so many cars got injured today, but I'm happy that I won and I will be celebrating. That's a very charismatic Luigi Oaks. Back to you, Bob and Daryl. And as we see, Mr. Oaks is very happy on his win today. Let's get down to the finishing results. First place is Ruby Easy Oaks, and second, Winford, Bradford, Rutherford. And now, the other cars that have came in is third place, Greg Candyman, and Shiny Wax's Darren Ludfoot. In fifth place, Aiken Axler. Even though he was involved in the crash, he had enough... He didn't take that much damage and was able to finish the race. And here's all the DNF racers, like McQueen, all the way down to James Cleaner. Very, very unfortunate. Ooh, wasn't that an exciting adventure? Oh, well, it's great to see you all in this month of February, and I hope you're having a great day. We'll see you all next time.